Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Run. Welcome back to our next indie horror game, Silver Soul Orphanage. Explore an abandoned Soviet orphanage from the 1940s. Learn the lore behind the building, orphans, and atrocities that took place. But beware, an unknown man within the premise stalks you at all times from the shadows. Once again, as a games, choosing appropriately creepy places for their found footage games. What do we had so far? Creepy ass cabin in the woods, creepy ass lighthouse. Uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, fucking Pripyat. All all wonderful places to have a creepy ass found footage game, and now. We're in an abandoned orphanage. Children are creepy at the best of times. This is going to be underwear destroying, I'm sure. But <laughs> here we go. It's a little bit cool out tonight. It's a little bit cool out tonight. It's a nice peaceful ride. It will be until you drive into that giant ass pothole and get stuck. Watch. Watch. A little bit bumpy. I read two lines of this before I realized he was narrating it with a voice actor. <laughs> Oops. But he made it over the pothole, so that's good. I thought sure we were gonna get stuck. Well, that keeps fading. Not driving over that. We're gonna have to hoof it. All right, here we go. In the creepy ass woods, right off the bat. Oh, we're. we're there's, I assume this is the orphanage. We're, we're starting right here. No creepy walk through the woods this time. Uh, okay. Oh, the front door was unlocked. How nice. Alright. Start with the right path. Work through it. This way? I'm not sure I want to follow the advice. Whoa, you he put the he put the camera down. What the hell? Uh nothing there. You told me to go that way and there was nothing in there. Oh wait, no, there's more. Okay. The, the black and white filter is not working for some reason. Neither is the, uh... uh he put the, he put the, the black and white camera down when we got into that back room back there. I'm not sure why. Mm. You won't turn it back on out here either. I hope that's not a bug. Because we're probably going to need that. There's always clues that only the black and white filter can see. That's... Up. 
Yeah, it definitely looks like blood on the ground next to the crib. Oh shit. Another crib. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just camera spots. It looks like it looks like blood though. I can't tell. Uh, no, I don't think it is, because they're everywhere. I think it's just the camera. I can't move. What the fuck is happening? Okay, sure. Old Soviet Army Manual. Alright. Creepy ass. Fucking. See? That is. No. Nope. Nuh uh. Nothing back here. An old TV. Modern model number something. The box feels empty. It's on the TV stand. You y'all are supposed to watch the TV, not the box it came in. But you know, Solon News. Silver Soul Orphanage in the city of Solon, an orf an orphanage consisting of multiple buildings housing over 200 orphans, built and founded by the wealthy family members of the Soviet Union. Dmitry and Polina. We must uphold our values as a community and help those in need. Why do I feel like they did the complete opposite of that? Oh, I guess we're going upstairs because there's nothing, nothing else down here. really bothers me that I can't turn the black and white camera filter on because we're probably gonna need that for uh, clues that are invisible to the sepia filter all of the other games work the same way um, right left straight or into the hatch up here let's start with the hatch oh shit It won't let me... There we go. War is on the horizon as the Germans infiltrate all European countries. The Soviet Union shall stand tall against our invaders. The Silver Soul Orphanage has taken in many more children as of recently. The protection of our orphans and care must be continued. We cannot let the war scare us into submission. The city of Solon is under quarantine and on lockdown from further visitors. I know where the music's coming from. Can't turn it off though. This rusty gate is locked. Okay, Alright. Is this a different spot than we just came up in? I don't think that's the same hatch we. Oh! Shit! Boy, all right, creepy kids are here. Awesome. No, it's not. There's where we came up. So that other one is a different. Is that the same paper? That's the same one. All right, there was another one. 
thought there was another one. <laughs> thought I saw another paper over here somewhere. Maybe not. Alright. Down this hatch, I guess. We just skipped all the other hallways that were in that first... Where that first hatch was. Finally, some peace from these orphan kids. I swear they are driving me insane. There's a reason we built these rooms to relax and watch television. Dealing with these kids all day would drive anyone nuts. If that's how you feel about children, I think owning an orphanage is probably the wrong business for you. I have a feeling this ended terribly for the orphans. There they are, a whole bunch of them. Oh shit. What did I say about this ending horribly for the orphans? There's your proof, right there. Child sized beds soaked in blood. Peace, VCR box. Nothing visually creepy has happened except that one kid in the attic, but the sounds in this one are appropriately horrifying. I like it so far. Child abuse and missing children around Silver Soul Orphanage. Locals and hikers in the nearby gigantic forest of Solon have reported noticing strange encounters of children being dragged into the forest and suffering physical abuse by staff at Silver Soul Orphanage. Some reports indicate that even homicide have occurred, and some children have been murdered in cold blood and buried in the woods, being told that no one would miss them or know they are gone. Jesus. Not cracker toy. Yeah. You got any keys in there? No. Well, I mean, I haven't found any locks. Oh, shit. Nope. You keep your maggots to yourself. I'm not dealing with that shit. This is insane. An intruder has been in my house and recorded it. Could it be the same person lurking around this building? Most likely, yeah. It's, it's definitely not a friendly neighbor who just cares about your well-being and came to check on you. People don't do shit like this unless, you know, they have a master plan to sneak in your house while you're sleeping and stick pointy things in all of your major organs in alphabetical order.
and they really uh, documented your whole house here. This is going on for a while. Got shots of your toilets and everything. They really wanted a layout record. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep watching this guy film in your house, man. Not because this isn't appropriately creepy. Your your home is just boring. It's very plain. There's nothing on the walls. All the walls are naked. Like that is a very interesting shape for a room, though. I don't want to. I don't want to stop watching because I'm sure there's something creepy as shit happening at the end of this. Oh. Wait. Oh, never mind. It's looping. I didn't I didn't realize that at first. Okay. Fuck that. Let's move on. To where though? Where do we go? Ah. Oh shit. I arrived here a few months ago. The treatment is terrible, the food is disgusting, and the staff are plotting something. I swear one of them is a serial killer and they are working with him. Already since I arrived, two of my friends have ended up mysteriously missing after hiking in the forest with the stat. All I have been told is one had an accident by the river and another one drowned in the lake while they were fishing. Nope. Your friends got murdered there's something about these dolls they've got hidden buttons perhaps something is hidden in one of them see this is where I need the F filter and I can't fucking use it because I think it bugged out those who do not attend math class at Silver Soul Orphanage will be punished. I shall personally see to that see to it that each and every one of you kids learn their lesson. Consider this a warning to the kids who thought it would be a good idea to stay away yesterday and play outside instead. The swordsman protects the general, but the general is the most precious. The horseman is the fastest but the drummer keeps the beat going for us all. So... General, Swordsman, Drummer, Horseman? Which one is which, though? Oh, wait. They got... Okay. So... The... Swordsman. No. No. Neither the general or the horseman is, or the swordsman is the first. Maybe the general is the last one. Um. So, drummer. No. Armor Swordsman? No. Shit.
the drummer's not the first one. Oh, there we go. It was General Horseman. General Horseman, Drummer Swordsman. The key was hidden within the drummer's hat. I should take it and test it on the rusty attic gate. Explore the remains of the last building and get the hell out of here. What did I say that was? General Horseman, Drummer Swordsman. How does that make sense in the clue? Yeah, General's the most precious, so he was the first. The drummer is keeping the beat for the horseman who's the fastest and the swordsman to protect the general. Okay, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Fuck. I'm, t I'm, ignore me. I'm, I'm talking out of my ass to make sense out of... Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm just gonna move on past you here for a second. Uh... I don't know if you were a living person or a dead person, but I'm just gonna hike on up here into the attic and Um there we go. Oh I gotta walk across the Oh god. There we go. The war is over, but the cries of brutality still linger in the air and the loss. Meanwhile, police are running an investigation into an unknown individual said to lure people into the now abandoned building of Silver Soul Orphanage. The man is homeless, highly dangerous, and said to stalk and kill anyone who roams around or within the orphanage. He was last seen wearing blue jeans and a white, white, dirty tank top. Sounds suspiciously like the guy I just saw in the hallway. If you or any, you or anyone know anything about this individual, please contact local authorities. The man has not yet been found, but police are searching the forest for victims and the remains of the orphanage for victims clues and anything to help them locate the murderer. Well, I just saw him, so I mean, you know, come get him uh, after he murders me, probably. Did we just... Uh-oh. What just happened? Oh, we... I think we just got the bad ending. An urban explorer and hiker was murdered after being stalked by a man within the long-abandoned building named Silver Soul Orphanage. The structure was an orphanage operating from the 1940s and shut down shortly after the war began. Blowing up the entire secondary expansion building of the orphanage. As the premise is located deep within the woods, the horrific murders have gone unseen and unheard until now. Your body was discovered by the police, and forensics are at the scene. The murderer, however, is still yet to be found. The only thing that remains is the found footage of your own demise. Never Urbex alone. <laughs> Solid advice, probably. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we should have gone a different direction than straight ahead there. Because nothing else we did could have gone any different way. 
I guess if we'd gone around to the left instead of straight, we might not have got killed. I don't know. Well, there's another one we got the bad ending for, because I got the bad ending for Ghost of Winlow, too. Tried to do the right thing, got killed by the lighthouse ghost, but uh, you'll see that when you watch it. Anyhow, the, yeah. So, once again, we have been... We have been murdered. <laughs> uh, that was still creepy, though. I like it. Sounds were good. Love the found footage style, as always. Uh, appropriately fucked up backstory of the people running the orphanage, murdering the kids. That's always disturbing as hell. Uh, Alright, so that was Silver Soul Orphanage. Link for that is in the description. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.